Hey everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. I hope that you are having a wonderful Monday. On this <clears throat> video tutorial, we're gonna do something kinda different that um, I haven't done in a while. We're gonna make flowers. And today, we're gonna be making flowers out of repurposed jeans. I'll tell you the whole story, how this came together. We'll be using some of um, this, these two different laces. I'm going to show you some of the other flowers that we've made in the past. We're going to do a necklace, placemats, and then I'm going to show you the basic technique. So it should be really fun. Um, this is super easy. You don't need any special skills to do this. You do need a low temperature glue gun, but that's pretty much it. So as you're hopping on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you have any questions along the way. Feel free to sprinkle and all that good jazz. Alrighty, so my husband came downstairs last night tearing up a pair of his jeans, not this neatly, he was just ripping them, um, <clears throat> that were falling apart and that I had, um, I was really just teasing and this doesn't sound very kind, but I had said they look like mom jeans <laughs> and they kind of did. Um, anyways, he'd had them for a long, long time. He used to, would wear them when he was working in the yard and that kind of stuff. So he came downstairs tearing it up and he was headed to the kitchen to put them in the trash. And I said, wait a minute, can I have those? And then I started thinking, oh my gosh, you guys have been asking to do flowers again. We've done a zillion different kinds of flowers in the past, but we have not, I have not worked on denim flowers here at DIY Dreaming yet. So that's what we're doing today. So after um, he handed over his jeans, I just did that little thing. Let me show you with one of these where you, um, you snip. I started at the bottom of the leg. You just snip a little tag into it and then you pull it. And these jeans are so worn that, um, that the strings came out really easy. So then I'll pull the strings. So I have some interest going on here. I'll show you up close. My craft room is a disaster. I know I'm always saying that, but it really is. There's jean strings everywhere. Okay, so then once you <clears throat> get them ripped into strips, you're just gonna pull out the strings and it will make them fray. And um, these, these jeans are so old, they've been washed so many times, they're soft, like, I don't know, they're soft like flannel or something. They're really nice. So, so then I spent about an hour in front of the TV last night tearing his jeans into all these nice strips and thinking about what I wanted to do. So, um, let's look back into the past at some of the different flowers that we've made and then we'll hop right into this. So the first flower that I think that I started doing here at DIY Dreaming were these pulled string burlap ribbon rosettes, okay? And they just started with this kind of ribbon. This video, there's multiple videos on how to do this are in my list of videos here at DIY Dreaming if you wanna go back and watch. And the ribbon is five and a half inches wide and it comes from Walmart. So that was the first one. And then we figured out that you can cut the little loops here and you get this kind of a flower. I did it in all different colors of burlap ribbon. Then the next one I think that we did was the, um, the rolled drop cloth, which is a similar, that's what we're going to do first here but this was one of the ones that we made a while ago and it's this part right here this is strips of uh, drop cloth that have fringe on the side of them that you just roll and twist around and i'll show you how to do that in just a second but this is one of the ones that we made a long time ago it's on my favorite cookie sheet from dollar tree and this is my favorite lace which they don't sell it anymore at least not at my store from walmart we're going to use some of this one of you guys was so kind to me <clears throat> when you heard how sad sad I was that this was going away at my store. You bought me some from your store and shipped it to me. So I have almost a whole new um, spool of this awesome ribbon. Okay, so then that was the next one. 
and we did a variety of different things with it. Um, like this is a combination of lace and drop cloth. And it has like some little tails on it. What else do I have here? Then we moved into the loopy flowers and this is a really good example of it. Um, it's just loops. And we're gonna do this, so I'll show you how to do that if you haven't seen that video. Here's some of the other ones that we made. I just reached in my box and grabbed a few examples. <clears throat> then, uh, we made these flowers that I called scrunched flowers. And they were just made with um, vintage encyclopedia pages. Then we've done all kinds of layered things. And then um, the last one that I did was made with clothesline rope. And I just, I can't even remember what we called that, but we sort of coiled it up and then I did these little loops, again, on my favorite uh, lace from Walmart. And here's another example of it. So that's a history of the flowers here. I love making flowers. I've joked around a lot with you guys about how they are super addictive. And they are. I was looking for projects to add my flowers to because I just wanted to make flowers all the time. Anyways, hey, Patty. Hi, Dar um, Darla and Cheryl and Paula. There's a lot of you guys on. Okay, so we are going to... Oh, and I, the thing I forgot to get out that I wanted to show you. We even made necklaces. Do you guys remember this? And this is what I was inspired to do today. Do you remember when we made these rolled rosette necklaces? This one we made out of um, the Jelly Roll strips fabric from Walmart. And then here was another one that we made, same idea. Do you guys remember that? They were super cute. So, okay, let's jump right in and start. Okay, the first thing I like to do is find a base. And your base can be something like a piece of denim, or it could be a piece of lace, or a piece of felt, or this is really stiff lace that I think came from Hobby Lobby. This is a great base. Um, so let me just see what I can grab. Let's just use a piece of this. And I'm going to show you first how to do the rolled denim rosettes. Okay, so this is what we're going to start with. You definitely, definitely, definitely want a low temperature hot glue gun for this project. Seriously. If ever you wanted one, you want it now. Um, okay, and so then I'm going to take a strip these can be wide or narrow, whatever you want. And you always start your rosette. I'll bring this a little bit lower and closer. You always start your rosette with a knot. And this is going to be the very center. I want to kind of tuck this tail in here. Okay, I'm going to pull that tight. So this is going to be the center. And we're just going to glue it on to our base. Can you guys see that right here? Hey, if the comments, <laughs> I'm sorry to point, um, if the comments here on the screen are begging you guys, uh, you can swipe them aside. And then if you want them back, you can swipe them back. I just want to make sure everyone knew that. So I'm putting a blob of glue here and I'm going to stick my center right in the middle of this square. And this is basically what you're going to end up with. Can you see the, the little knot? Okay, then all you're gonna do is roll whatever it is that you're making it out of, whether that's drop cloth or lace or fabric, you're gonna roll it and then twist it around the center. So, I am, and you're gonna just put a little bit of glue right around the edge of your center and you're just rolling and, and gluing it down. And the messier, this is why, maybe why I like this project so much, the messier, the better. 
You can pull it super tight if you want or not. This is the start of one. Can you see that? And, and this is when I really like the fringe, uh, the fray or whatever on either side of the fabric. So I'm going to just keep going a little bit bigger and rolling. And I just stuck my finger in that hot glue, so thank goodness it wasn't hot, hot glue. It was low temperature hot glue. So I have so many ornament ideas. And I've been talking about Christmas a lot lately, it feels like. So I just thought, let's just get off of the whole Christmas and holiday themes and do something completely out of season or not seasonal. And then um, my husband walked downstairs tearing his jeans and I thought, aha, there we go. Anyways, these jeans looked terrible, but they're beautiful. They're so soft and they're great for this purpose. Okay, so you can keep going with your rosette and make it as big or as small as you want. I'm going to go around one more time and then I'll show you how you end. So each time I'm just putting a little bead of glue right up next to the edge. And then I'm rolling and pushing it into the glue. Can you guys see okay? just a little bit further there really is no wrong way to do this and this is great for when you have little scraps of stuff left over because you can you can start with one little scrap and um, you know add a different one and move on from there okay so these rosettes usually are not completely round. They're, they're usually kind of a lumpy oval shape, and that's just fine. So I'm gonna cut my little tail right here. And you could roll it and tuck it on under, or into the side, or you can do this thing that I'm gonna show you right now. Now I'm just cutting the denim off the base. And I'm trying to be careful not to cut my fringe. So I'm trying not to cut off this interesting stuff. And honestly, it does, it does not have to be perfect. Okay, whoops. Let's get this one little. This, I think, is a good flower to start with because honestly, it is the easiest one. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take this little tail and I'm gonna glue it on the back and that's it. Okay, so here is a rolled rosette. Okay, now let me show you the next kind. Um, let me think. Or maybe I want to show you another rolled rosette, but I want to show it to you with lace, okay? Um, so this is that, that lace that I love so much from Walmart, but you can get something similar anywhere. <clears throat> and um, I am just going to... I think where do I want to cut? I think I'll cut right here. I don't want it to be too wide. And I do want this to fray up, so that's why I don't want the um, the perfect edge. Okay, so this is what I basically cut off was this perfect edge here. We could use this for something else. I won't throw it away, you know me. So this is what I have. And let's do it on a little piece. Let's do it on a pe another piece of denim. Okay, so here's our base. 
And I'm gonna do the same thing as always. I'm gonna start with a knot. Okay, there's our knot. Put a little blob of glue in the center. Stick my knot into it. And then I'm just going to, I personally like to um, roll it and wrap it to the right. But that is completely personal preference, what feels most comfortable to you. And because this lace was wider, it's going to become a big rosette much quicker. So what do you guys think so far? I wanna, if you guys like this project, you like doing flowers, um, give me some little hearts um, or some thumbs up or something. Also, if you wanna be able to see future videos, because that's how Facebook now apparently is deciding what to serve to who. If they think that you like what you've seen because you interacted or you gave a, uh, thumbs up or a smiley face or something. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Then they're more likely to serve you the next, what I'm doing the next time I go live. And I want you to join me every time I go live. Okay, so for this one, I'm just gonna kind of pull it in and tuck it into the side to end it. All right, and I have this big, messy center that's too tall. I'm gonna cut some of that off. Okay, so here is another rolled rosette. We're looking at it to see if we pretty much got it glued down all the way around or if it needs a little bit more glue around the edge. And then I'm gonna do what I did with the other one. I'm gonna cut it off. So before I went live, I started working on a necklace and it is so cute. Okay, let's do the next kind of flower. <clears throat> and I have one that I started here in my pile. Okay, and to do this kind of flower, basically what you're gonna do, and I've already done this, but you're gonna take a strip that's a little bit wider and you're gonna glue along this part right here. So you're gonna end up with this long folded over piece like this. Okay, so it's, it's glued on the sides. And then you're just gonna start clipping every now and again up to that, that edge. You can clip super close together or far apart, whatever you like. The um, band of glue also that holds the two pieces together, that seems to help me not to cut all the way through. So this is what I'm doing right now. These are the loopy flowers. These are the loops. Does that make sense why we call them loopy flowers? You can do this project with any kind of fabric. Um, those jelly rolls that you can get, um, the quilters jelly rolls, those work great, but you could do this with flannel, you can do it with felt. Um, this one was one of the loopy flowers that I made a long time ago using felt. And you just wanna, um, you know, keep cutting. When your flower gets too big, you can just cut it off and save the piece that you haven't used yet for your next project. I can't really seem to judge uh, when it's too big any way other than just to start making it. Okay, so I think we've got plenty here. And it's messy, this is another messy flower for sure. Okay, let's see what you guys are saying. When you make the burlap rosettes, what do you do with the thick round at the bottom of it? Well, I mean, this is what mine look like. Um, my friend, Diane Brown, has figured out, see that that's that 
this is what this gal here is asking about, this thick thing on these um, pulled string burlap rosettes. She's figured out a way to sort of fold it flat so it's rolling around each other and not the way that we're going to do it. Um, I haven't really been able to master that, but I'm okay with a little bit of a raise, especially when you're using it on something flat. You can't tell that much. Let's see, do I have some down here? Uh, no, I don't. I have a whole box of flowers that we've made. So I'm going to now just start rolling and I'm gonna do a little bit of a, a, a roll here. Can you see? And then I will start adding some glue. And we're just rolling, 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 rolling. You don't have to have a ton of glue for this, but it is gonna get on you again. So if you're just hopping on now and you're gonna make any of these kind of flowers, you definitely need a low temperature hot glue gun. Otherwise you'll have blisters all over the end of your fingers. And people have suggested to me forever that I just use those little finger protectors, but I can't hold on to things well when I have those on because I, I bought some. So I'd just rather use a low, low temperature glue gun. This is what we're getting as we're rolling. Let me see how that is. And this is the little standing up base that I'm okay with. All right, so let's keep going until we get to the end of this and then we'll cut it off. And you can see where it's just getting rolled on itself. Cut this off right here. My husband came in here in the craft room a few minutes ago before I got started and he said, what are you doing? And I said, look how pretty, well, I showed him something I'm gonna show you in just a minute. Look how pretty your, what a pretty flower your yucky jeans made. And he was like, wow. So there we go. This is a loopy flower. So, this is a just denim rolled rosette. This is one of those Walmart lace rolled rosettes. And this is a loopy flower, all right? So before I came live, I was working on this, which was gonna be a necklace. What do you guys think? It's got a rolled denim rosette, a rolled lace rosette, a bigger rolled denim rosette, a loopy uh, denim flower and a rolled lace and then rolled denim around that side. And on this one, I wanna show you what I did here <clears throat> just to jazz it up a little bit. We'll do it on this other one here too. So I just took a square or a rectangle and I put some glue on the end of it and I stuck it in the center. Okay, you see that? And then I put a little bit of glue along the side and I just pinched up the lace around it. And then we'll cut, cut it so that it doesn't have any of these super nice polished lines. We're gonna cut it sort of into a, a circle shape. So can you see how we're just wrapping this around our loopy flower? I know there's lots of you guys in that follow DIY Dreaming that are in the um, Dreamy DIY private Facebook group that I set up for you guys. There's lots of you guys in there that have made this kind of stuff. And I learned so, I learned so much in that group. I think it was in that group was the first time I ever saw anyone make flowers out of old denim. Um, so if you haven't already joined that group, I really recommend that you do it. It's Dreamy DIY. It's my, it's a private Facebook group that I set up, mostly for people who watch DIY Dreaming, but I mean, really anyone can be involved with it. Um, and it's a place for you to get lots of ideas from other crafters. And also it's a place for you to share your craft projects because if you're like me, 
Um, I have two sons and a husband, and they don't care one single whit about my craft projects. I mean, not in a mean way, but I'll be so excited and come out and say, look, look, look what I made. And they're like, uh-huh. Yeah, that's great, Mom. Um, but other crafters can get excited about this kind of thing. So it's a place for you to share what you're working on, to get ask questions, and um, to have other people give you some of that, you know, that that feedback. But it's almost all positive that that I think a lot of crafters love to have. I know I do. So, okay, so we have these three right here. And I did make a few others. But anyway, so that's what this is right here. And then I just glued it on a piece of denim. Let's see, what do I have left that we could work with? Where's my big piece? Okay, this is what I have left of the big piece. And I also made these before I came live. So I'm gonna, and I made this one, which I'll cut off with the backing. This one I glued on this other thing. So when I do one of these necklaces, I like there to be five pieces, either three or five. And I don't want it to be exactly the same, you know, a, a pattern. I want it to be random. Okay? Um, so, and this piece might be a little bit small, but we'll see what we can do with it. I feel like I need a smaller. Well, we'll make this work. Okay, can you guys see what I've got going on here? I'm just sort of planning an arrangement of how I would glue these things down on this piece of denim. And I'm gonna start with the biggest one in the center. I also like it to form sort of a U like this. Although I wasn't very good with, this is pretty much straight with this one. But I think they look nicer when they're necklaces, if they're the shape of a U. Okay, so let's put this other, so right there, and then glue this guy on. And I'm gonna kind of tuck him underneath the flower right next door to him. These, these flowers are very glue intensive, in case you're wondering. I'm sure you're noticing. And I'm just gluing everything down good to this piece of denim that we're working with. Okay, now let's, so this is what we have so far. Donetta says she loves, loves, loves it. Oh, I'm so glad. You know what? I forget how much I love flowers. I don't know why. So I need to start doing more of them again, and I need you guys to remind me, okay? I'm going to cut these two apart so that I can place them how I want them. If I haven't done flowers in a while, say... um. Or send me a message saying, hey, can we do flowers? <laughs> and we'll do flowers. These are practically free also, which is something I love. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this one next and then this little one. And that'll, but you know what? Yeah, that'll work, sorry. I'm so indecisive sometimes. You cannot put too much hot glue on your project, by the way. It needs lots and lots of hot glue. And your hot glue gun is gonna look like this. I don't know why my little tripod here keeps twisting. It doesn't want me to be on the video, apparently. It's 
So now I'm just gluing down all my edges and my pieces really good. Okay, so we're gonna look and see where do we need more glue? Usually it's in between two flowers is where you need more glue. And don't worry, the glue that's off of this will be cutting that away, so it won't be a problem. So this is a perfect example of where it needs more glue. Can you see that? Okay, I think we're good for right now. Okay, and there's a couple different ways that we can finish this up. And then I do want to show you some placemats that I'm thinking about, and I started. Um, and they're just, I, they're, place, they're burlap placemats that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. A set of four of them. They're great for every day for, I don't know, like five or six dollars. And they were probably even on sale when I bought them. Okay, so now we need to trim all this off. And it's the same, right? I need to add a little bit more glue right there. Okay. So, are you guys all getting ready for Thanksgiving? In case you're watching this sometime in the future or on replay, today is Monday of the week of Thanksgiving 2020 and it's going to be a different kind of Thanksgiving this year I think okay so you can see where I'm just cutting and I'll come back and add some more glue I can already see where it is going to need it and this can be trimmed, you know, even after the whole thing is done. The other thing you can do if you want is you can add some felt to the back of it to make it softer. Uh, if I was making this as a gift, I probably would do that. Let me think what I want to do here. I feel like I want to glue this a little bit down right here. So what are you guys saying in the comments? What do you guys think? Do you like this project? Do you like these kind of projects? Um, I am all about, I mean, almost all the crafts that we do here at DIY Dreaming. They're quick and easy. Um, sometimes I like to use something unusual like my husband's yucky old jeans. <laughs> um, most of the time they're pretty budget friendly. Um, I do a ton of faith-related crafts. This this is obviously not faith-related, but uh, that's my preference. And um, this is this requires no artistic abilities. It really doesn't, and it's quick and easy. I mean, it came together so quick. Like this needs to come down a little bit, and it cost almost nothing. So it totally fits the bill. Okay, so these are the two necklaces that I made. A bigger one and the smaller one. What do you guys think? Um, so you can either use long strips of your fabric, like I did with this one. This one I braided long strips of the same fabric that we used to make these rosettes. I made that necklace. Doesn't look that great with my outfit, but. And then this one, I used some chain that I had hanging around and then I lined it with um, some felt underneath. So I think, um, 
I have this little piece of chain. I think we'll use this for this one. And what you would want to do is get some good pieces of denim. Once I have this all glued together, I may come back and do a clasp like this has so that you can adjust how long or short you want it. Do you know what I mean? But for purposes of today, I'm just gonna show you what you do. So you're gonna wanna just take some of your chain, put huge blobs of glue on the back of your outside piece, and you're gonna lay your chain into that. And then you're gonna take a piece of your denim And, can you guys see okay? Where am I? Okay, so this is what I did so far. Then I'm gonna just put a whole bunch more glue on here. And I'm gonna put a piece of denim right here to cover that all up. We'll come back and trim that up so it's nice and neat. Okay, and let's do the same thing on the other side. It's not too twisted. And this is just chain from Walmart. It's nothing fancy. It's not really even, you know, it's not sterling silver or anything. It was in the jewelry making section at Walmart. My favorite craft store. Okay, so I'm sorry, that was out of camera range. So here's the other side. We're gonna do the exact same thing. I need another piece of denim. And I'm gonna put some huge blobs of glue on here. And we're gonna stick our denim on. And press it in really good. This is what it looks like right now. That's what the back of it looks like right now. So I'm gonna, now I'm gonna trim off some of the excess here. This is gonna make it so that the spot where the chain is glued to this piece isn't gonna rub your neck raw because otherwise I think it would. So I just cut it off like that. Now I'm gonna go around and see where I could either cut off more or add more. Okay, so that's what that looks like on the back. And here's the front. Now let's clean up the other side. Hey, if you guys decide, this would be a good Christmas present. Um, for, you know, any lady that you have in your life that you'd be buying for that likes jewelry. And I think if she found out that you made it, she would be super, um, surprised. Anyways, but if you guys do end up making some of these necklaces or anything with the roll, with the denim, I would love to see that over at Dreamy DIY. So hop over there, it's Dreamy, and then there's the space, and then it's DIY. And um, ask to join, it's gonna ask you, I'll put it on, it's gonna ask you a couple of, sorry, it's gonna ask you a couple of questions. It's gonna ask you, um, what is it gonna ask you? If you agree, not to um, use that group, Dreamy DIY, to promote whatever business you might have. And it's also gonna ask you to please don't share other crafters videos on that page, because they have their own thing. And um, anyway, so this is what it looks like, and I think I will adjust it so it um, could be the right length for me. 
So, and I'll also, you know, get all the loose everything off so that the first time it's worn, it doesn't shed everywhere. Isn't that cute though? And I made this out of those cruddy mom jeans that my husband came downstairs ripping up last night with a little bit of my favorite Walmart lace, but you could use whatever you want. So there is one necklace and here would be a second. Now let's look at my, um, oh, this is a mess. let's look at my placemats and I'll show you what I was thinking for those. Okay, this is what they look like when you get them. They're from Hobby Lobby. They're, you get a set of four. Uh, these are not going to be washable. The second you would put this in the wash, all this burlap's gonna fall apart. But they're nice, they're stiff. Um, they have the nice little frayed edges. And they're, you can iron them, they're all good to go. So that you get a set of four of them. They're, um, in case you're wondering where are they? Okay, they're in this section of crafts at Hobby Lobby where you would find like those little zip pouches and where you would find bandanas that you might make something out of. And what else is there? Um, there's also these uh, burlap banners in that same section, okay? So the first thing I always do is I cut these pesky tags off. I hate it when they put that stuff on there. And this is the one I'm working on right now. And what I did to start it off is I glued on a little band of denim. And my idea is to have that on the left-hand side. Let's come down again. And then to do a rolled rosette up here in this top corner. So let's make one. And how big do I want it to be? I think we'll use this piece. We need a little scrap of denim to do it on. Okay, well, I'm gonna just cut off the end of this and we'll use this to get us started. Okay, so you always start your, I think this is gonna be too big. Let's try this one. You always start your um, rolled rosettes, whether they're drop cloth, lace, or whatever fabric with that knot that becomes the center of your rosette. And I'm just putting a little blob in the center of my base. And I'm gonna uh, sort of twirl it and wrap it around to the right. So just put a little bit of glue on there to get it started. Ooh, I got it on my fingers and it, it's still kind of hot. <laughs> I can't even imagine what regular hot temperature glue would do to your fingers for this project. It would definitely be painful. So this is what I've got right now. And I'm gonna keep rolling. And I think I'm going to um, I'm gonna finish it up over here. It could possibly be a little bit bigger, but my I didn't make my base big enough. Darn it. Let's make it big on this side. a little bit around the side of this and I'll tuck it in the back. Okay, then I'm just gonna fold it back here, a little tail. This is really an oval, it's not a circle. You could cut 
a little piece to be a leaf if you wanted. Let's do that. Can be however big or small you might want. That could have probably been a little bit bigger, but let's see where does it need it? Right here. I don't remember which is the top or the bottom. Okay, so here's my rosette. And Let's bring our placemat back over. And you know, when I set the table, um, I usually put all the silverware, the knife, fork, and spoon on a napkin to the right side of the plate. But with this design, you could do either one. I don't typically put my um, beverages in that top corner of the uh, placemat. But if you do, then don't put your rosette up here because it will be um, right in the way. So I'm just going to glue this puppy on here. Definitely work with something underneath um, your project so that you're not gluing, getting all kinds of hot glue on your whatever your crafting surface is. So there we go. What do you guys think? That was so super simple. Super duper duper simple. And it took no time at all to whip it up. And a set of four of these placemats would um, be so inexpensive. You need to go look at your own jeans. They should be really worn and soft, I think. Look at your own jeans or look at, if you have kids that have jeans that that, that don't fit them anymore, um, that are too short or whatever. Or look in your, if, you, if you're married and your spouse has jeans that he hasn't worn in whatever, ask him first. <laughs> uh, but this is just so easy. And like I said, practically free and unique. And um, I think that it is a really fun project that you could definitely handle and that you should definitely try. So that's pretty much all I have to show you guys right now. I am expecting an order of stencils from Magnolia today. I got some really fun new designs that I didn't have before. So if they come sometime before five o'clock or so, I may hop back on to show you those and to give you some ideas about what I'm gonna be doing with them. Um, I will take pictures of our necklace things and this one placemat that I finished. And I'll put those in the comments here and I'll also put them at DIY Dreaming. If you haven't, oh, sorry. I know that's so rude to point. I'm sorry about that. If you haven't already liked and followed DIY Dreaming, which it's this little fun thing up here um, for DIY Dreaming. Um, if you haven't already done that, liked and followed it. And if you haven't interacted with me with a smiley face, a silly comment, a question, whatever, um, and you want to receive the stuff that I have coming up, you should definitely do that because that is how Facebook decides who they're going to serve my videos to. So take a second to do that. Um, feel free to sprinkle this. I want to see pictures. If you've done any of this kind of thing, whether it's on using uh, denim or drop cloth or fabric, whatever it is, lace, um, I definitely want to see pictures of that over at Dreamy DIY. I'm seeing a lot of stuff coming up, so that's good. That helps my content to find its way to you. However, <laughs> in that whole cyber world that I don't fully understand, that's the basics of what I do now. So anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm glad you liked this project. I do too. I will probably keep this. I think it would it doesn't look great with this top, but I think it could be really cute 
with um, jeans and, you know, almost any color t-shirt. So have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys later today and then tomorrow for sure. Bye. Oh, it's hard to hang up when there's all those little hearts and things coming. Anyways, we'll see you guys later.